Okay, so I'm up at uh, the Mavericks Hospital, yeah. and uh, I've been had my first serious venomous snake bite, and it's a mildest snake, which is pretty common throughout here in New WA. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you what I've been doing. Basically, straight away, um, I've put direct pressure on it. A bandage was um, applied straight away. I then immobilised myself um, in the passenger seat of the car, and my friend drove me um, the 17 kilometres away to Laverton Hospital. What I could notice straight away was uh, pain at the bite site, which is typical of a mulga snake bite, so I knew I'd been envenomated. If it's a brown snake, sometimes you don't realise you've been bitten because there's no pain at the bite site. But being a mulga snake, they have um, local pain and swelling. So if you pan over here to my right hand, you'll see it's uh, perfectly bandaged up, and this is textbook snake bite first aid starting distally which means right down at the hand and working your way up and you don't want to actually cut off the blood what we're, not, what we're trying to do is not cut off the circulation we're just trying to slow down the venom and trap it in the arm as long as possible before it reaches my armpit where it reaches uh, your lymphatic system and then that transfers from your lymphatic system into your blood system. So right now the venom is in my pinky finger and I can feel it. Um, it's probably about a 4 out of 10 pain um, and there's swelling and, and, and sort of pain happening there but being that it was a juvenile snake I don't think a lot of venom was injected. It was also a defensive bite so the snake has just gone, what's got me, bang bit me, let go, and taken off. Um, whereas a larger individual, they're gonna um, deliver a lot of venom into the bite site. Um, Mulga snakes also have the biggest venom yield out of any Australian venom snake, so you do not want to get seriously done by a big one. So basically, um, I've had a little bit of a wake up call just to be a little bit more careful with smaller individuals, but I've been doing this for a fair few years now and it was just my turn to get a little bit of a wake up call and hopefully uh, I get through this all good. I've got um, great care here at the hospital, uh, textbook first aid, and um, I've got a um, RFDS flight on its way, um, which should be here half an hour to take me to Kalgoorlie, where they'll have all the facilities to treat me properly for this bite, um, anti-venom and, and, and a team that's you know dedicated to dealing with this stuff. And, um, I'm just staying as calm as I can, um, staying as still as I can, and this is exactly all you need to do in a snake bite. Try and be really calm and just not move. So. Okay, so just had an update momentarily that the um, RFDS flight is not taking me to Kalgoorlie because they don't actually have black snake anti-venom, which um, you need to be really aware of when you're out in remote locations. Sometimes the facilities uh, won't have, um, you know, due to funding or, or whatever, someone using all the anti-venom recently. For whatever reason, they may not have the anti-venom. So instead of going to Kalgoorlie, which is the nearest anti-venom um, that I thought I was going to get, I'm now going to Perth. Um, but I'm happy about that because Perth are going to have the best team, the best facilities um, and I'm not remote if anything happens so um, yeah, I'm, I'll be off to Perth in about half an hour and that'll be about a two hour flight so hopefully uh, nothing goes wrong and the medical team on the flight can keep me stabilised until I get to Perth and receive some antivenom. So uh, here's hoping everything goes smoothly. Okay, so right now I'm just getting my arm splinted so that I'm perfectly immobilised for the flight. I can't help you with any I feel a bit bad getting all this treatment. And it just goes to show what these are awesome people do for everyone. So kudos to you ladies, thank you. Timmy, hopefully I'll see you on the other side, mate. You're in there?
So we're about to take a two hour flight to Perth. Uh -huh. Pain's increasing in the uh, finger, but hopefully it'll be okay. It doesn't get necrosis or anything. Okay, we've got to go. Might get go. a little bit. Right, Tuesday night, see you in a day or so. Yep. Best of luck, Ross. No worries, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you.